Good morning, Lisa Hearn here with Taylor Farms and I'm here with Gina Basaldua, our Grower Relations Manager. We're here to talk about our transition and we're actually starting our move down to Yuma, Arizona this week and we'll be starting 100% on Monday the 18th. So Gina, do you want to give us an update of what we're seeing as we approach Yuma from a growing perspective, quality and supply? Yes, so uh, currently we have most of our crops that are pushing about three to four days from where our budgeted schedule should be. The point with that is days to harvest are off with cooler than normal temperatures. Another factor we're managing through is we experienced a storm in mid-September on most of our longer day crops like romaine, iceberg, broccoli and cauliflower. With those items in consideration, we're gonna be experiencing lower than normal yields. Uh, the rain did damage some of the crop stand. So as we approach transition, we are in an arugula field at the tail end of the Salinas season. How are we looking on supply on baby leaf overall? With the baby leaf in mind, we made some changes back in October on Days to Harvest to try to solidify some of the supply going into the desert. So on items like arugula, heritage, spring mix, we'll have plenty of supply going into the move as we finish up here Saturday and start there 100% on Monday. Items like the baby leaf, spinach, and spring mix, those uh, were planted later in October. They weren't affected by the storm, so we have pretty strong supplies on all of the baby leaf, and we're starting on Monday as well. Everything in Salina should be wrapped up by this week. In a lot of these updates, we've talked about contingency factors and what we're trying to do to maintain that consistency of supply. And so we've worked through that since September hit with that storm, right? So basically a combination of adding additional plantings, right? And reaching out to some of our contingency supply, including Mexico, right? We're gonna start in Florida as well on Iceberg and Romaine, and also extending our season in Huron, which has actually been a really strong season for Iceberg. We had a really strong season in Huron. Yields have been great on Iceberg. We've also had uh, part of the contingency plans is working with Mexico to help with the broccoli supply. I think we've had a lot of different moving parts that we've had to manage through for the past few weeks with the transition in mind. Um, but as we move our plant to Yuma, we have a pretty strong backup plan as we move week over week. So as we finish up the Selena season, we look forward to a strong Yuma season and keeping everyone updated on overall supply and quality as things can be fairly dynamic during the winter time. So we look forward to catching up next month.